Hi there, today we're unboxing a smart Wi-Fi plug. So this particular one is by TP-Link. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's have a quick look around the packaging. So it comes with a three year warranty, compatible with both the Google Assistant and the Amazon Alexa. Let's turn it around, see more details. So easy setup on this, they're saying just download the app, plug in the actual smart plug and configure the actual device using the app. Some other items they also sell, so bulbs, cameras, plug, and smart sensor. Bring it around, some details about it, so remote access is available, scheduling is available, and there's a away mode, so simulate occupancy while away. Okay, again, those details, and that's it. So let's open it up and see what we get in the packaging. Okay, so I laid out everything you get in the packaging, so let's quickly go through them one by one. So you get a card that says, Welcome to CASA, some details on how to set up, and interestingly, some details below on supported load types. So coffee maker, 800 watts, desk lamp, 235.2 watts, LCD, so that's a monitor, 270 watts, heater, humidifier, iron, toaster, tower fan. So they're example load types you could use on this. Obviously, they're giving this as an example so you don't overload it with other items. Okay, and on the back, if you have some issues setting this up, there's support contact details. Okay, and you've got a sheet of paper and it's got operating frequency and max output power. So that's multi-language on both sides. Okay. And finally, the actual plug. So very solid build quality, this tough plastic all the way around. Just to show, you've got some plastic covering this area here. Just take that off. And obviously you've got the three pin plug there, branding there, you've got a button there, to turn it on and off, and a reset button there. So if you're having issues configuring this, just hold on to that and it resets so it doesn't connect to your current Wi-Fi if it is connected. Okay, max 13 amps. Let's come round. Quite a chunky design on that. So if I actually get my ruler just to show, so if we come in there, so in total about four and a half centimeters. So we'll stick out quite a bit if you purchase this. And in terms of height, about nine and a half. Okay, and if we come on the back here, got some details there so that's the model input is 100 to 240 volts okay and output is 13 amps maximum load I've covered up the serial number and MAC address here so obviously I didn't want to show that on camera and there you go so good build quality to this but very bulky I have to admit okay so let's make a start at setting up this smart Wi-Fi plug so initially let me go to my smartphone and I've got the Play Store here. So let me click on that and let's search for CASA. So there you go. This is the one you want, so CASA Smart. And we'll install that. Okay, so now it's installed. Let's click on the open. Okay, and this is what we're presented with. So what you need to do initially is create an account. So let me enter in my details off camera and we'll continue after Okay, that. so I've entered in my details. So I'm gonna click login now. And this is what you're initially presented with. So no devices yet, it's saying. So pretty straightforward to get this set up. So next, I'm gonna take the plug and plug it into the power strip I have here at the side. And let's click on the plus icon and click add a device. Scroll down, find a smart plug and it's this one here. Okay, so it's saying to power on the plug, so I've done that now. And let's, the comment here says, plug in your smart plug, the Wi-Fi light will turn solid orange. Click next to that. After about 15 seconds, the Wi-Fi light should start blinking orange and green. So if we look here, yep, it's blinking orange or green. But I'm going to click help here initially just to show. And it's showing if it doesn't to reset 
you just hold on to this and eventually it will just start flashing orange and green. Okay, so let's click next to that. Needs location enabled, so let's do that. I'm gonna allow it access. Okay, so it's gonna to attempt to connect to the smart plug now. Let's give it a moment. Okay, so next let's pick our Wi-Fi network and let me type in my Wi-Fi password off camera. Okay, so I've typed in my Wi-Fi password. Let's click join. And we'll just wait for it to set up the actual Wi-Fi plug now. Okay, so if we actually look over here, the Wi-Fi icon is green, but this still says it's connected. So if I click cancel on that, and just come out of that for a moment. So no activity there. Let me just close off the app and go back into the app. And there you go, it's appeared. So I did do some testing previously just to see it adding in. And that's one of the annoyances of this. It should go straight into this dialogue and show it's been added but it seems to get stuck on that particular dialogue. But there you go, closing off the actual app and restarting it, it is working. So simple as pressing the button here, turns it off and turns it on. And you see the indicator there, which is nice and clear. So it's off. Give it a moment. And it's on. Okay, so let's click on the actual plug itself. Let me show you around the actual functionality on this. So at the bottom, you've got schedule timer away and runtime, and you've got a big icon indicating the on off button. So if I click on that, turns it off, click it again, turns it on. And let's click on schedule first. And you can set up a schedule. And this allows you to turn it on and off at certain intervals. So simple as just picking your time saying what action you want, so you can have it on or off, and saying what days you want that to occur on. So very straightforward. We'll cancel that, go to timer. You could have a, a timer on this. So say for instance, you're charging your mobile, you know your mobile's gonna finish charging in 30 minutes. You could just say, turn off and click start. So after 30 minutes, it will turn off. Okay, next one is away mode. So you can actually set a re recurring event. So between a certain time, a start time, which is here, and an end time repeating on these days, it will turn on and off. Okay, and runtime. So runtime is how long it's actually been on. So it gives you those sort of stats. It's a shame this doesn't actually give you any sort of energy usage on there. So that'll be quite a useful one in addition to have, but this is okay and it's sufficient, giving you an idea of how long it's actually been on. Okay, so let's go back. Let's click in the corner here. Okay, you can rename this if you wanted to, a more convenient name if you wanted. Okay, and you've got device info there and that gives details of obviously your time zone, your Wi-Fi network and the model and serial number. If I scroll down, it'll actually give my MAC address of the device. So let's go back and you've got remove device. Okay, so there you go. That's all the functionality available with this Wi-Fi plug. So for the next test, I've got a LED bulb here and it's connected via a cable to this three pin plug. So if I plug it in, it actually turns on and as an override, so you're not reliant on your app, there's a button here. So if I press that, obviously that will turn it off and back on again. And if I go to my app, just to show it in action, it's on at the moment. And there you go, turned off and back on again. Okay, so if I drop that down and let's turn off Wi-Fi and give it a moment to connect to 4G. So it's just connecting in the background. So if we go back into it and click off, there you go, works straight away. No ports to open on your router at all. Cloud-based login on this, 
So you go pretty straightforward to use straight okay, away. So next, I'm going to show how to set up this smart Wi-Fi plug to work with both the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa. So on the actual app itself, I've renamed the plug to be called Study Lamp, as you can see at the top here. And let's just come out of that. And I've got the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa apps at the bottom. So let's begin with the actual Google Home. So I'll click on the Home app. We'll click here in the corner and settings followed by assistant and then home control. Okay, next I'm gonna, gonna click the actual plus icon and let's search for CASA. And there you go, TP link CASA. Let's click on that. Okay, so next, let me add in my login details for this app. So let me do that. Okay, camera. so I've entered in my details. I'm gonna click authorize next. Okay, let's give it a moment to attempt to link. And there you go, it's added in. So if I just click done, understood. If I scroll down, see if it sees it. And there you go, just at the bottom, study lamp. And if I click on that, we can change the actual nickname and give it another name if we wanted, but we're not gonna change it. So next, if I just unmute Google Home, and we can say, turn on study lamp. All right, turning on the study lamp. Turn off study lamp. Okay, turning off the study lamp. There you go, simple as that. How easy was that to add in? Okay, so next I'm gonna show how to set up this smart Wi-Fi plug to work with the Amazon Alexa. So on my Android device, I've got the Amazon Alexa app here. So let me click it, give it a moment to start up, and then we click in the corner there, and then click skills and games, and then click on the search icon and search for CASA, and let's do a search. There you go, the first one there, so TP Link Casa. So let me click on that. Okay, so enable to use, let me click that. And you're presented with this dialog where again, you need to enter in the login details for the Casa app. So let me do that off camera. Okay, so I've entered in my details, so let me click authorize. Okay, it's linked, I'm gonna click never remember this one and click on the X here just to come out. Discover devices, give it a moment. And while that's going on, I'll just unmute the Alexa. Okay, so there you go. And just to show, if I go to devices, go to plugs, we should see study lamp, which is just there, and we can turn it on from here turn it off as well. And next, if I say, turn on study lamp. Okay. Turn off study lamp. Okay. There you go, as simple as that to set up on the Amazon Alexa. So as I've shown, you can control via this app. Let me actually come out and show. Okay, so if we go into the Google Home app, scroll down and it's just there, study lamp. So if I go in there, turn it on and turn it off. There you go. So you can control via both the actual Google Home and Alexa apps and also speak and control it via your voice. So there you go, very simple to set up and to use via these devices. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this smart Wi-Fi plug. Very easy to set up and use. Works with both the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa. Has an override on there as well, so you can turn it on and off manually. The only little gripe was the actual app itself. The fact that it was just ticking away saying it's connecting, but I found the way around that was just kill off the app and restart it and it appears in there. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.